Hello, everybody. Welcome to Minutes with PJ. Today is July 23rd, 2016. Our discussion today is going to be on in circle. In Psalms 17:9, my enemies encircle me with murder in their eyes. In Luke 19:43-44, your enemies will pile up earth against your walls and encircle you and close in on you and crush you in the ground and your children within you your enemies will not leave one stone upon another for you have rejected the opportunity god offered you in revelations 14 1 through 20 then i looked and behold on mount zion stood the lamb and with him a hundred and forty four thousand whom had his name and his father's name written on their forehead. And I heard a voice from heaven, like the roar of many waters, and like the sound of loud thunder. The voice I heard was like the sound of a harpist playing on their harps. And they were singing a new song before the throne and before the four living creatures and before the elders. No one could learn that song except the 144,000 who had been redeemed from the earth. It is these who have not defiled themselves with women, for they are virgins. It is these who follow the Lamb wherever he goes. These have been redeemed from mankind as first fruits, for God and the Lamb and in their mouth no lie was found, for they are blameless. What I'm getting here is I had to define this word because I didn't totally understand it, but it helped. Defined it's to surround someone or something, to pass completely around, encompass, or enclose. King David was concerned when his enemies encircled him with eyes that wanted to kill him. When we reject God completely, the enemy will get us and destroy us and our children. Jesus had men encircling him. These were his apostles and disciples throughout his ministry. In heaven, the 144,000 will encircle God and Jesus, his son, who also is the lamb. I want you to think about this today. Have a blessed day.